Hello, ever heard the phrase sticks and stones can break my bones but words can never hurt me? So when I read the recent uh, write-up about Brandel Shambly's comments on sustainable swings and a lot of other stuff, uh, what he said about launch monitors making swings worse, what he said about the top 100 teacher rankings being messed up, I thought to myself, well, he might have a point. He does have a lot of good stuff that he's constantly talking about, even though people don't always want to hear it. And when he made a supposedly sexist remark, I actually knew what those two words meant individually, but I had to look up what they meant when spoken together. So uh, no big deal, par for the course as far as I'm concerned. But when he said that Matthew Wolf's swing is sustainable, with respect to both efficacy and safety, then I had to do some research. Of course, keep in mind that Matthew Wolf is an amazingly athletic young man. But when I saw after his recent win, all the young golfers at various driving ranges eagerly practicing and mimicking what he was doing, that was the time I had to figure out, is this swing really sustainable and worth mimicking? And I'm going to make a series of short videos to explain the science behind why I think it should not be mimicked by any and everybody. 